So the title is uh, Proper Actions, Proper Group Actions on a Firefrag Chronic. Suppose G is a connected, connected D group. So it is a smooth body object and uh, uh, also group. And uh, G times G to G, G H equal to G H product is a smooth body. But anyway, this is group. Uh, connected D group. Then first I define Ot G. This is a group of automorphism group. That is, there is an isomorphism from G to G, and then such a uh, isomorphism, isomorphism groups makes a, a group called Ot G. This is a, this also D group. Okay, then for the <coughs> today's note, today's lecture. First, we define this thing. <coughs> I say that the G, G affine group. G uh, affine. G affine group. It is to be done in F. G is um, this is a so called sec direct product. G I use this notation, not product, but semi direct product. Okay. Semi-direct. With this group of G. So this group is not the uh, product. Uh, but the same type product. The, so group law is as follows. So take uh, G and say H, take G from G, and automatism element of automatism, automatism group is say alpha and beta. Then um, the group law. The element here is so therefore G and alpha and H and beta. And then product is is This is a product, and this is a group row. So, G alpha and H beta is alpha is automorphism. So, H is element of G. So, alpha H is again element of G. So, and this is a product product of in G, in, in G, okay. G and alpha H, and this is a composition of uh, automorphism. Oh, this group is a uh, the group. Uh, Group row is just automorphism. Ah, sorry, composition. So I have this is this is a um, <coughs> if action alpha is trivial, then of course G H alpha beta. So it is uh, just usual product. But because uh, usually this odd G is non trivial, and uh, this is therefore called semi direct product. And also. Uh, Definition. K is uh, because this is, I said this is a D group, so I have a maximal compact group in RG. This exists. And then maybe you should use a different uh, pilots to the office. Then another one more group called G uh, Euclidean. 
Ji of the Caribbean group. I say no, EG. And this is a subgroup of this one that is G, and semi product of. Now I have a maximum contact here, so. This. <coughs> this is a definition of generally um, definition of affine group and G affine group and G Euclidean group. So if you change, take a G, then there are a lot of such a, uh, G affine group and G Euclidean groups. Especially for this lecture, Example, um, typical example is um, take G is vector space R n. Then first look half R n. This is by this, so Rn equal Rn, same product of both Rn. Both Rn is a G, this is general linear group, and R, in this notation. <coughs> so the non singular, non generalized matrix of Rn. And then um, this is E Rn. Euclidean group, in fact, this is Euclidean group. Maximal compact for general linear group is uh, also one and two. So far, this is a definition, <laughs> this is an example. So, of course, you can change the group, not, not necessarily again, for example, in this. I use, I use the Heisenberg Lee group, and uh, then I have another G Euclidean group here. So, but anyway, so far, even in this, uh, okay, this is called affine group. So now this is called affine, affine flat. Um, <coughs> either you can see geometry, but affine, affine flat group. Okay. This is the whole uh, Euclidean group. Euclidean group. Yeah. Okay, this is just a <coughs> definition of, of GFM group stuff. So now, uh, the, okay. So now uh, we change the we study the group action. <coughs> group action of this one. So to do that, uh, we introduce uh, proper proper action, proper group action. Very easy to uh, say. Um, Actually, compact group is proper, proper group, proper group action. So, but uh, we are interested in non-compact group, non-compact group. So, non-compact non group is not necessarily uh, proper action. So now, so I need a definition of proper group.
모르게 해보시면 참 Okay. Now, G is uh, not just a group, not, not necessarily a group, it's just a group. And G acts on uh, topological space X. So we say usually G X go to G element and X is go to G X. You see, this cor correspondence is called G action. And, uh, G and X, uh, G is E group and X is no small group, then this, when we say this action, we, we ask, we, we require this action, this smooth action, this correspondence, this smooth action. Like that. Okay, then, uh, here is the definition. Uh, definition um, 2. Um, also, a group, group. Now, uh, this group G acts on X uh, property. Okay. property. Uh, yeah. <coughs> no, acts properly on X. So, <laughs> if for any any compact group or compact subset. Compact subset K in X. Now G act on X. So we take uh, any compact subset K. Yeah. Then uh, we consider this set. Set uh, G. Uh, set uh, G K. This is uh, element of G such that uh, because G Act on K, yeah. G and K go to set G K. And then this G K orbit and K is not, yeah, this K non trivial. For such a G, uh, this is a set of G such that GK intersect K is non trivial. Okay. Such a G, uh, theta, theta GK is uh, compact. Uh, this is a group G is inside the G, so compact in G. So the group action is properly proper action it uh, for any compact set then this set is uh, <coughs> compact so similarly I take the I take a discrete uh, no, no. which is better <coughs> just the, okay. I take a, a discrete group uh, maybe I want to de define also properly discontinuous. Okay. This is often used in, uh, if we consider the group action on the smooth manifold, especially contracting contracting the manifold, then properly discontinuous is very important notion. Okay. And uh, group, now, G is okay, but uh, group gamma, uh, acts properly uh, acts on X acts properly properly discontinuous in this continuous on X if possible uh, gamma Gamma is act on X. So gamma belong, uh, you can see gamma belongs to the homeomorphism uh, group or yeah. If gamma acts uh, smoothly, then diffeomorphism group. So maybe I 
This is a topological group, but anyway, so gamma is discrete. Gamma is discrete in this uh, group, in this space. Well, just you can say, just generally gamma is discrete, uh, sorry, uh, discrete. But uh, anyway, because uh, <coughs> depend on, depend on x, so I say gamma, is discrete in with x. And uh, there are also this one, theta, gamma, now change gamma here, yeah. and then k, then k, in compact set k, which is not the uh, definition of properly discontinuous, is finite, finite set. In this definition, usually we are looking at G is a kind of connected group, and uh, this is a discrete group. So, discrete group inside in compact is then finite set. So, a kind of, uh, yeah. So, usually, properly discontinuous, this is uh, usually the uh, as a definition, it is very popular, but uh, originally, uh, this one, properly, so that is, this compact is a uh, usual definition. Then you can apply, if gamma is discrete, then finite set. <coughs> so far, this is the definition. Maybe one more definition. Mm. As, moreover, mm, G X uh, no X belongs to this is the uh, if you know this is the um, stabilizer G X go to X stabilize X. This is uh, so-called stabilizer or isotropy subgroup of, of X stabilizer. X. And this is a group. So if proper, then this group is, of course, satisfy this condition. So this is, uh, in general, if proper, okay, if G is proper, then this isotropy group is compact. And discrete, then this is finite. And if, the definition is, if GX stabilizer is just trivial element for all X point, then uh, this is G acts, say, free of X. Now the, okay, then usually you consider the quotient. Uh, suppose you have a sinus group action and suppose this is also uh, proper, then you can consider the quotient space x divided by the RG. So what happened in this case? If just proper, then this is uh, x is with manifold, and x mod g is uh, is how uh, so is a uh, is just house dog house dog space, and uh, yeah, okay, house dog space, and also x is manifold, maybe also we can say over. Uh, so, uh, not, not so good. Omnipotent is usually, dimension is not changed, so, okay. Okay. I have X is also properly discontinuous. Okay. Properly discontinuous. 
then in this case, x over gamma, this is now of course Hausdorff space, but uh, same dimension, so this is properly discontinuous, then x over gamma is uh, over. Ah, x is minor, so over. Properly discontinuous is, as I said, this gamma x is uh, finite. So the quotient, several points are uh, like uh, in kind of caused by similar, similar forms. So, yeah, it's called over. So, but this definition is not quite, not clear, but uh, usually say over. And therefore, if the freely acts freely, if term acts freely, then quotient space is now becomes smooth smaller. This is the kind of uh, properties or definition of all of group action. So after using this kind of uh, group actions, we study the affine flat actions and also Lorentz flat actions. So let me say the. So now we specify the special group action called the uh, affine flat action, also uh, Euclidean digital motion. So to do that, I define the following definition. Definition three. One, two. Definition three is uh, if this gamma belongs to Euclidean group. Rn, which is say again Rn, similar to product of orthogonal group, and if gamma acts freely, uh, properly discontinuously and freely. Okay. Proper, properly discontinuous, discontinuous. Continuously and free and free. Then, as I said, this is because quotient manifold. This manifold, and this quotient manifold gamma is called is called <coughs> in this case uh, Imania. <coughs> if gamma belongs to Euclidean group and acting properly and properly discontinuously and freely, then quotient space is called Imania flat manifold. Or also another uh, word is Euclidean space form. Euclidean space form. I don't assume that the uh, compactness so far. If the, uh, yeah, okay. So, one more definition. If, similarly, if gamma now belongs to affine group, affine, that is N, R, N, G, L, N, R. <coughs> and the uh, same thing is this. <coughs> Properly, properly discontinuous, properly discontinuous, <coughs> properly discontinuous yeah. Then, quotient Rn over gamma is called, uh, yeah, no, I 
need complete, complete, complete of IMD fraction. Complete is uh, the whole space is RL, not the domain. In this case. <coughs> uh, so this should also should write down complete, but uh, this this one has a Riemannian method in that sense. So you don't worry about the completeness. But this is not the Riemannian method. It does not come from the Riemannian method. Just a fine connection. So. Uh, Completeness is different from the metrics pair. So usually we write down complete. So here is a, now our program is, uh, of course, you have already studied this kind of things, but uh, we just uh, <coughs> recall that point. Um, our starting point is actually Viva Baja program. There are several uh, famous, uh, very, uh, <coughs> yeah, several results proved by uh, Viva Baja uh, 19th century, 19, 10, 11. Mm. So, but here I use, I introduce this result. Okay. Yeah. This is the Riemannian uh, flat model. Ah, so now compact amount. This model is compact and Riemannian flat model. Riemannian flat model. Then what he proved is uh, this. He characterized Viva Baja characterized gamma. What is gamma? In this case, and gamma is uh, the content, contemporary notation, uh, notation is gamma uh, then. Then gamma is virtually, yeah, virtually, virtually average. So virtually Averian means the Alcoros. A finite index, finite index, normal subgroup, normal subgroup, subgroup of gamma is Free Abelian group is a free Abelian group. Free group of uh, this is uh, dimension n. So free Abelian group of rank n. <coughs> this is isomorphic to the <coughs> This is isomorphic to the Abelian sort, Z. And, and the free Abelian group consisting of uh, translation. A little later, I'll explain it here. Okay. This is uh, this characterization. And um, okay. um, yeah. maybe I let's see which is better. The proof of this is a little bit difficult. But, uh, <coughs> 
think the the difference is uh, <coughs> John uh, John Wuch, the, the differential geometry group called the space of uh, constant coverage. And they show this proof. And uh, okay. we just uh, <coughs> use uh, this result. Okay. Let's look at like this. I said this EN, uh, oh, this gamma belongs to the Euclidean group. Okay. And this Euclidean group is a semi-direct product. So that means not product, but similar product. <laughs> Rn, translation subgroup, is a normal subgroup here. And the co uh, quotient of Rn, the Dayton quotient is traditional. <laughs> <coughs> then go to On. This entire product has uh, this kind of group extension uh, or uh, exact sequence. Then here I have a discrete subgroup gamma and, and this condition acting. Uh, it's, oh, yeah, maybe compact Riemannian flat manifold means algebraically the, this embedding, this gamma belongs to EN discretely. And then in quotient EN by gamma. Quotient EN by gamma is compact. This compact Riemannian flat and this other new group, this quotient is compact, the same, same new equivalent. And then I can consider in this induced extension here, uh, here RM intersection is gamma. And the quotient, the projection L go to the here, the gamma, which is the subgroup of this one. From this, I have uh, <coughs> this group extension for gamma. And then, what he proved is, uh, the, okay, what he proved is first, this this Rn intersection gamma. This is the translation subgroup of Rn. Rn acts on Rn itself as a, as a parallel translation. So this in intersection is a subgroup of Rn, which act as uh, also parallel translation. And what he proved is this intersection gamma, this is a so-called uh, finite index normal subgroup. That is, this is a maximal, what he proved is, this is maximal normal free abelian group. The maximal means mm, this graph is n, so this also n. Okay, you say that this in, in this uh, theorem result, I said. Uh, Finite index normal subgroup uh, is free abelian group of gamma okay. and consisting of uh, translation, parallel translation. Okay. And next, the, this is actually important thing. Then this image is uh, actually this image is discrete. That means discrete in Compact, so finite. And gamma is so finite group. Yeah. <coughs> this L gamma is finite group is come from the uh, this first statement. <coughs> so virtually means uh, gamma in the finite index of group is free abelian. So virtually is, yeah, I don't know the, uh, we usually use this, this kind of situation, virtually, gamma and 
translation is virtually saved. That is up to finite index. Okay, now, uh, so uh, it is easy to uh, <coughs> consider I mean, uh, study. Uh, question is what happened to uh, a high flat money? Is a river of the soil then? <coughs> what happened to the Unfortunately, there are no such uh, river of the to correspond to uh, uh, concerning the compact affine flat money. So <coughs> now it becomes problem. That R and O gamma is a, a compact, comp, next is compact. Compact. <coughs> Even compact, completeness is not removed. So compact and complete affine, affine B flat, flat minus. Then, uh, probably means the characterized gamma, determine gamma. Like, uh, so if the affine group is gamma reduced to the like, uh, Euclidean group, then the B Baba Hussein implies gamma is uh, virtually free of it. Gamma contains a free abelian subgroup of finite index. <coughs> so then, what happened to the compact uh, compact affine flat case? Okay. If gamma is going to here, then uh, then okay. this is in general not known, and uh, there are lot, lot of, uh, several partial result. So, here is a, so this problem is now called Auslander and Milner. Auslander and Milner conjecture. Which says, uh, you can guess, what should be gamma is what gamma should be Euclidean case, Imagine case is pre abelian Then what should be here? The also and the Milner conjecture is in fact the gamma is virtually. Uh, Okay, virtually Or also virtually, and this is the same thing, virtually uh, solo. Solo is much. Uh, <coughs> well, because Euclidean case is Avelian, so how about the compact? A fine flat case is virtually uh, uh, solvable. This is a reasonable conjecture. And then, yeah, okay. If you change this, is like a, okay, now a fine group, so this is a n. So this changes into. Uh, GL and R. So, first, typical difference is now a fine group, so from compact to non compact group. That is a determination of the gamma, it's very difficult. Therefore, partial result means 
is the OL. This is usually called the Holonomy group projection. Is it not Holonomy group? And uh, here you have a affine group, affine case, general linear group. So the, then, of course, this is uh, compact and non compact, so there are big difference. And uh, first, uh, non trivial, <coughs> trivial non compact P group is, uh, it is very popular in the, in the physics. This is so called Lorentz group. And then, also, special linear group determinant is uh, one. And also several SP uh, to SP n over <coughs> and even dimension case the SP SP n r exist. But anyway, there are a uh, lot of uh, non compact groups. So <coughs> So far, the positive answer is only this one. And also, the conjecture true for dimension is, uh, so far, I don't know, Bill Goldman says, uh, I think, uh, others, and, and so far, uh, prove that dimension until six is virtually solo. But, uh, yeah, anyway, so in this lecture, I just uh, uh, remember that uh, how to get this uh, answer by uh, using the so-called, uh, I don't mention, but uh, algebraic Hall stuff. And uh, to do so, we study the, what happened to uh, proper, the proper group action acts on RN, then what uh, then decide, determine the proper D group G. That's uh, our uh, aim, our purpose. So far, this is uh, uh, our motivation. And, uh, 